Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's try an example on the summing amplifier when we have the inputs connected to the non-inverting terminal. The equation is a little bit more complicated, so let's do an example so we can understand what that equation means. This is the equation that we obtained in the previous video. First of all, R total. Remember that 1 over R total, 1 over R total was equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So in this case, that would be equal to 1 over 4k ohms plus 1 over 6k ohms plus 1 over 4k ohms. Put ohms on there. Hmm, okay. Well, the common denominator, that would be, um, I can drop the k in the ohms to make things simpler, so we'll just write 1 over 4, 1 over 6, 1 over 4. But if we're going to add those, we need a common denominator of 12. This would be 3 over 12 plus 2 over 12 plus 3 over 12. That's equal to 8 over 12, which is equal to 2 over 3. 1 over r total is equal to 2 over 3, which means r total would be the inverse of that, which is 3 over 2. And of course, that would be in terms of k ohms. That goes in here. Now, rf divided by ri. So the gain is equal to 1 plus rf over ri, which is equal to 1 plus rf was 20 kilo ohms and ri was 5 kilo ohms. So 20 divided by 5 is 4 plus 1, that's equal to 5, which means the gain is 5 and our total is 1.5, right? So we can write this as 1.5 ohms or kilo ohms. All right, just so that no one gets confused, yes, these are indeed kilo ohms. The gain, of course, is simply a number. All right, let's plug everything in here and see what we get. The output voltage is equal to our total, which is 1.5 kilo ohms. Multiply times V1, which is 10 volts, divided by R1, which is 4 kilo ohms, plus V2, which is 6 volts, divided by 6 kilo ohms, plus 2 volts divided by 4 kilo ohms, kilo ohms, and that, oh, not, not equals to, because I still have the gain, a gain of 5. All right, so now we have to multiply everything together and see what we get. The output voltage is equal to, uh, wow, I think I need a calculator for that. Let me see. So first of all, 10 divided by 4, that's 2.5, plus 1, plus 0.5, that's 4, multiplied times 1.5, and multiplied times 5, and I get 30. All right, so this is equal to 30 volts. All right, so again, we simply notice that the kilo ohms cancel out because we have kilo ohms in the numerator, kilo ohms in the denominator, it all cancels out. We're left with volts times 5 for the amplification or the gain. And when we go through all the calculations, we have an output of 30 volts. And that's how we use that equation.